Today we're gonna be on Inward Drift. So after racing against PAX a bunch in that other video where I was front running only, I decided to give Inward Drift a try. Look, we have another Yoshi on Inward Drift right next to me. This is the first time I'm actually just trying to go for just a good combo. This is pretty much the same stats as Yoshi Teddy Buggy, obviously with worse handling because it's Inward Drift, but let's give this shortcut a try. Oh, I even made it to the glider. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to be doing things a lot simpler than usual because as you guys know, I don't know how to play Inward Drift. Like, here's how we're making it through this section. With smart steering! Let's turn that back off. Oh, I missed the glider. Okay, I mean, that's not that big of a deal, I guess. Let's try taking the shortcut. It's just stuff I've never done before. Like, I can kind of control Inward Drift, but there's a lot of stuff in this game where it's like, you feel like you can control it, but actually what's going on is you, you've just played this track a million times, and so you just already know exactly what to do. It's not because you're good at control, it's because you have the lines memorized. And actually, interestingly, on a lot of uh, the comments on the last Inward Drift video, it was a lot of like, like, I don't even know what Inward Drift is. Like, people watch the entire video and they're like, I, I don't even know what, what you're talking about this whole time. So, uh, I, I'll explain what Inward Drift is. See how I just make a sharp turn here when I'm turning? And, uh, so I am drifting. It's just that, uh, it doesn't look like drifting because with Inward Drift, this is just how it looks. If you want to see the difference between Inward and Outward Drift, I also have a video just about that. I'm doing horribly right now. I, I think I've discovered that I cannot commentate and play well on Inward Drift at the same time. So Inward Drift mains are very disappointed in my performance right now, but don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna turn it up right here. I don't know if that's the proper line to take. I know you cannot super bounce with this though. So anyway, yeah, Inward Drift is just a different drifting style. It has different properties. Uh, you can't turn quite as well, but there are other advantages that I have not shown yet. Like, uh, here, for example. I'll do an example right here. When you use your rear view camera, when you're drifting, you can actually see what's behind you. Versus with outward drift, because you're kind of angled sideways, you cannot really see. Uh, ooh, good item. Take you out, take the next person out, take you out. Okay, we started with the third place. It wasn't pretty, but it was still third. Wait, inward drift top three? Do we have more? No, it's just us three. That's crazy! Okay, I actually picked Rainbow Road specifically for the challenge because, like, when you pick Inward Drift, your turning is not as good. So on Rainbow Road, that's going to be especially tough uh, because of how sharp these turns are. Okay, and get my coins up. I'll just use this to get my protection out right away. I need to break away from the pack, and I cannot do that with good driving. I can only hope to rely on my coins. <laughs> Okay, so we're at 10 coins. Oh, this is gonna be rough. I'm gonna start here and go in. I think that's how you wanna do this. Probably, I don't know. All right, nice, nice. We have a little bit of a lead. And you probably wanna start wide and go in here as well. This is gonna be a really sharp turn. Yeah, I'm brake drifting a little bit. Oh, I almost couldn't make that. Oh no, I couldn't make that one. Okay, well, see a lot of these tracks I'm playing for like the first or second time ever with Inward Drift, so I actually don't know how to take any of these lines, and so I'm gonna have to be making it up on the spot. Let's get double item box here, but still go to the right. Almost fell off. Okay, at least I'm not getting blue shelled. Oh, couldn't get an orange mini turbo. Almost fell off. Okay, that's not good. Get back up to speed. Take this like that. Yes, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. But this is also a sharp turn. Like, that's why this track I find is so hard for Inward Drift. There's three sharp turns, and it's just extremely hard if you don't already know how to take these turns properly. And look, look at my camera angle. That's another problem with Inward Drift, I can't see anything. I could get a really good item here because these people are gonna be so far away and the distance-based item system is gonna give me something crazy. Let's see what we get. Yes, triple mushrooms. Oh, the person in front of me has a red shell, so I'm gonna have to use all these triple mushrooms before I can pass them. Oh, I could win this. Oh, this is so difficult. 
Okay, third place, then second place? You know, maybe I'll get a first place next. Oh, what is the level in this room? Okay, I'm getting out of this room. This is ridiculous. I just realized that what happened was I had picked regional instead of worldwide. Since there's a smaller group of people to choose from, often you end up with people who are just like a lot lower rating. Okay, so I'm gonna have to focus on this race. I'm gonna try and front run this. I would often bag, but if I bag, then I don't get to actually practice driving a lot of these lines, unless like I get into first place on like lap, lap two or three, best case scenario. Even then, I don't get to drive this too much. I started my drift way too early there. The nice thing also about inward drift is if you start your drift wrong, you can correct it and you don't lose speed. Like if I just do this, I'm pretty sure, uh, I, I, maybe I lose a bit of speed, I, I'm not sure, but um, it's not as bad as outward drift where if you don't get a mini turbo, you actually just lose a whole bunch of speed. I've actually seen world records just not charge mini turbo sometimes, like the 200cc world records, the ones that have inward drift. I don't think there's any 150cc inward drift world records. Okay, so this is, okay. They got shocked before the boxes. I'm the only one who doesn't have an item right now. This is really sad. Red shell could come at any moment. I'm unprotected for so long. Okay, luckily I'm far enough away that I didn't have to deal with the fireballs. Oh, barely got the double item. Come on, come on. Come on, let's do this properly. Okay, that was a bit better than the other laps. Nice! <laughs> I, I switched to a new room, probably a better room, I don't know yet, and uh, I just won the first race. Oh, okay, it's like, it's it's barely a better room. Genuinely, I think I need to hit 20,000 VR or Nintendo will not stop making me the highest VR player in the room. And if I switch rooms, it just happens again and again and again. It's so annoying. I want to play with some players better than me, but at the same time, like, uh, I'm on Inward Drift, I don't know, I, I'm probably playing at like a 12,000 level right now, if I had to guess, compared to my 18,000 VR. Okay, uh, where do you even use a mushroom on this track? I don't know if I want to be in first. I, I, I don't want to get hit by a blue shell, and if I have to get first right at the end, I can totally do it. But let's see if I can use Inward Drift and outline this Kamek Streetle player. No mini turbo there, that's fine, I get to take a better line. Yes, I'm so close to them. And now I'm in first. Okay, this is a bit dangerous. You have a coin? Okay, nice, nice, nice for me. Oh, I got bumped. Okay, I'll probably just save this mushroom for the shortcut coming up. Oh, I feel like I'm getting the hang of Inward Drift. Like, I I'm not feeling this is any weird or anything. I'm taking these turns like a champ. Oh, I missed the trick. I blame Inward Drift. <laughs> oh, two protection first, it is over. I'm the Inward Drift master. Let's do this for fun. Oh, they were on the other side. Yes, we got Rainbow Road again. I feel like I robbed myself last time with falling off that one turn. Like, you can't be making those mistakes and still expecting to get first place, you know? So let's not fall off this time. Take this a bit tighter. Yes, perfect. Oh, yes, redemption. I am gonna be an inward god by the end of this video. Oh, we got Paris Promenade. This is a good inward track on 200cc. It actually has the world record on 200cc, but on 150, obviously, it's still also good. It's just not nearly the advantage you get on 200. But see how these turns are not sharp at all? That really helps here. So I can take all these turns well, and when there's no turns that are too sharp, then, oops, uh, Inward Drift actually does really well because you can take a lot straighter lines, like you're not curving left and right all over the place. And, oh, okay, let's not hit this corner. Oh, that was so close. I practiced this in order to make that one short <laughs> where I had to drive some good lines, and that's it. So, since it, it is a city track, but two of the laps are the same, so luckily I'm gonna be able to actually put that specific practice to the test here on two of these laps. And then on lap three, I've never driven it before on Inward Drift, so we'll see how that goes. Ah, I've been watching a lot of Troy's Mario Kart Wii lately, and by going around that corner, I definitely would have cracked the red shell in Mario Kart Wii. Oh, that's bad, that's bad. It's exactly what I tried to avoid on lap one, and I was talking on lap two, so I forgot about that. But I have a huge lead. I'm the Inward Drift Master. Okay, this inward drift and low traction, this might be a good thing actually, it'll help me take my turns wider. Slow down, slow down, slow down, no! 
I had a purple mini turbo and I couldn't slow down. I was trying to get hit right before the glider so that the glider could speed me back up again. Even getting hit after getting my glider out would have been good too, because then the blue shell would have sent me forward. But then I got the worst possible case, which is the blue shell, like my glider didn't come out yet, so the blue shell sent me straight down. Okay, I, I should not get an item. There's probably not gonna be another blue shell, so I don't need a super horn, and two protection is great. Very unlikely second place has three red shells. Yes! What is this? I just won four times in a row with Inward Drift. Is Inward Drift secretly amazing? No, no way. Okay, gonna have to learn new lines, of course. Let's start by taking this shortcut. I'm not gonna go for the ramps on the left. That's gonna be really tough. Um, okay, I wanna try using some other Inward Drift advantages now, because at first the goal was just to win, but then now I wanna, I, I wanna hit people. I wanna use my rear view camera. Okay. So this is not a shell, so it's not gonna it's not gonna be an advantage that I want inward drift to be able to throw this better at people. Since I'm not good at all of the shortcuts, the fact that I'm in first place is actually really helping me. If I had to try to make comebacks with this, I'd probably be so much worse than outward drift. Okay, I just messed that up. I guess we're going this way. Oh, don't get air. Ugh, that's annoying. I'm going wide. <laughs> I have to be so safe. Um. Let's bomb that. Oh, that's annoying. No item for a while, and there's a blue shell. Okay, uh, please tell me there's a trolley soon that I can run into. No, there just isn't! Why? Since when is there no trolley around here? Okay, well, this is a good bomb spot. Oh, it didn't get him! I was like, that's such a narrow spot, you have to get hit. Okay, I just messed this up again, I started my drift way too early. And I messed that up. Okay, I just have to not mess up and I can definitely get first place. Oh, there's a banana there, no way I hit that, right? Okay. Right, that was a little mess up, but it's okay, it's okay. It's not enough to send me all the way back to second place. Second place, just use a super horn. Hopefully, they don't have a red shell. <sighs> of course, of course. No, I threw that away. All right, I have two items. This might be okay. Oh, the red shell didn't go for me. Why not? <laughs> I'm blessed right now. <laughs> Let's go. That's five in a row. I'm not stopping until the streak ends. Come on, I'm on Yoshi, Yoshi Valley, Wild Yoshi Sanctuary. Yoshi can't lose on this track. Well, if I lose, hopefully one of the other Yoshi wins. Okay, okay, so like... I don't know what I was supposed to do there. There probably was something I could have done, but my line was wrong, and I don't know how to correct it. Being able to correct lines is definitely more difficult than being able to take the, the correct line from the first place. Oh, items everywhere, I'm going so wide. Okay, well, we're doing a little bit of bagging. Luckily, there's a big shortcut on this track. Ah... <sighs> This is a rough start for Yoshi on Yoshi Valley. <laughs> okay, one mushroom, that's enough. Oh, barely dodged that. Oh, boomerang, how am I not? There's a red shell right behind me. Okay, good thing I didn't use the mushroom yet. Holy, this is chaos. Uh, I, I didn't have to deal with any chaos with this vehicle yet because I've just been at the front of the pack the whole time. I've been front running every single time. You know what? I, I'm scared, I'm taking this path. Yes! Inward drift! Backing items! It's so easy! Oh no! I can't hop to realign! <laughs> the pros and cons of inward drift. <laughs> okay, I really need mushrooms here. Hold this protection as long as I can. Yeah, protect me against a few things. I got someone again. I'm holding this. There's no- oh, I had no time to react to that. Okay, there goes all my mushrooms. I'm, I'm messing up again. This is sort of more what I expected when I started playing in Word Drift. I'm going this way again, of course. Uh, I could have dodged the shock, but I wanted to save the star for when people were near me. Because, you know, I was in fifth place. It was going to be super easy to get hit by something. And get the double. I was scared. Of course, I got hit anyway. I backed out. Oh no, there goes my winning streak. 
No! Okay, it's actually over. It, it, it wasn't over before that, but now it's actually over. Let's just try not to get 12. Hopefully someone gets screwed really hard and doesn't get mushrooms and it was me. Okay, I, I'm happy with a winning streak of five races in a row with Inward Drift. I, I, I could hardly win a race the last time I tried this. And so obviously I'm no expert with Inward Drift, but I will say for anyone who's like trying to maybe learn how to play, like you don't have to try to switch to Inward Drift or anything, but if you just want to learn how to, how to play on an Inward Drifting vehicle, I had played this uh, on and off for a long time. So what I have to say for someone who wants to learn how to play Inward Drift is just be patient. The first several times that I tried, I gave up right away because I realized my brain was just not going to be able to do this. Like I couldn't turn off any of my Outward Drift habits. But over time, I started to, like every time I gave Inward Drift a chance, I instantly got better compared to before because I just come at it with a better mindset of like, this is going to be totally different and uh, I'm going to be okay with that and let's see what I can do with this. And uh, each time it got easier to shed my outward drifting habits. Anyway, I'm in first place with a mushroom. This is great. <laughs> Never mind. All right, we're going this way again. Oh, can you not hop before that to get a trick? You might have to trick right away. Okay, let's get, it. get this. No, <laughs> I got a coin. Was I even in first? Oh, don't come for me, please. Oh, it went for the other person. Yes. Yes, that saved me. Okay, I'm just gonna get one box here. I can't aim. Like, did you see that camera angle? I cannot aim for the other box. Oh, no, blue shell. All right, well, we got third place. Teddy buggy supremacy right in front of me. All right, let's try to beat them. Um, I've actually played Mount Wario on Inward Drift twice. Oh, am I getting all the coins? Nice. Oh, I lost all the coins. Today, what I've noticed, the main difference between the first time, or not the first time, but like the last time I tried to play Inward Drift and today, is that today I'm not making a lot of mistakes. Oh, okay. Barely got around that. And usually what happens when I play Inward Drift is... Oh, get around this. Um, is that... I just, I don't know the lines and I can't correct myself out of a bad line and that just loses me so much time every single race. But today, it's just like, I, I'm just like a, I feel like someone who can play inward drift but is suboptimal at it. And that obviously, you can still win races with that, right? Uh, I'm just not making major mistakes anymore, which would kill my chances in every other race. Like, I would rarely play through an entire race where I did not make any mistakes. And let's get rid of this. Oh, I used my fire by accident. Should be fine. I don't really need this. No one is even near me. Oh no, couldn't get rid of my green shells. But this is still a good item to have. Oh no. What? Yes. <laughs> that, like the green shell was happened to be on the side of me at that very moment. That was amazing. Yes! Oh no, I was gonna red them off the glider. This is bad. Wait, how'd they grow right away? That has to be lag. They're probably still small. Oh, can I get close enough to them? Take a better line because I'm on inward drift. Oh, it didn't get them. Oh, I was so close. Oh, that shock actually messed me up. I couldn't do it on Yoshi Valley, but now we have Yoshi's Island. And I'm on Yoshi on Yoshi, I have to be able to do this. See how straight I can take that section? I just, well, kind of got into first, not really, I don't know. Oh no, I shouldn't have tricked off of that, that was bad. Okay, I got the item. How am I still in first? Uh-oh, item lag, I might get two coins. Oh, coin and mushroom in first? Yeah, when, when the game starts to lag, it really likes giving you coins and mushrooms, but I didn't know you could get a mushroom in first when that happens. Oh, look at how tight I took that. <gasps> I'm gonna miss the glider. Wow, that's never happened to me before. And I'm not gonna be able to get on the bridge. Oh, the bridge didn't even open. Okay, we're just doing this then. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, so I wouldn't be shocked if this track was actually not good for Inward Drift, but I also wouldn't be shocked if it was good for Inward Wait, is that person waiting? That has to be lag. No, oh, what the item lag? Ugh. 
I, I was so excited to play to, to play this track with Yoshi Yoshi, and the game is just not having it. The game is like, this is not allowed. It's too big of a power up. You have to be nerfed. Okay, they tossed all their red shells. That's good for me. I can pass them safely. Oh, they have a bomb. I think I'm too close for them to bomb me. Yep. Yep. Oh, I almost fell off. They have, they're trailing a red shell. Oh, they got hit. They're gonna hit me. If they throw that red shell. Oh. I think the red shell went past me. Ah. <sighs> This game sometimes. This game. <laughs> you have no clue what's gonna happen and it feels completely random. And the items are still lagging. Hope I get a mushroom before the shortcut. Okay, that's nice. Look at how little of a shortcut I took. <laughs> oh, and I can't hop to realign. This is, what a messed up race. Uh, and to think I got excited and Nintendo was just like, nah. Look at that, I can't get my item. At least I hit the cloud, I wasn't even trying. Okay, okay. You know what? <sighs> Let's just move on to the next race. You know what, I'm going black, Yoshi. Let's get that PAX 99,000 VR energy. Roy Biddy Buggy? Someone didn't tell this person about the update. Okay, uh, let's do this, <laughs> let's do this. I think, I think I can do this track. This track doesn't have any turns that are too bad. There's red shells near me, I'm going wide. Okay. So I guess uh, I'm just going for coins, going for more coins and item. Jeez, jeez, I can't hop to realign, this is so bad. Okay, so I'm in a pretty good spot now thanks to that busted shortcut. I hopped too early. Okay, and... Oh, jeez, okay. The one thing I'm concerned about is this ramp right here. I'm gonna have to drift off this ramp but I've never done this before. Okay, that wasn't the line I was hoping for. Wow, I'm in first place. These people don't know how to do that thing. All right. Didn't get a mini turbo. This is great. I, I wish I knew more about the item probabilities. Like what is the chance of a blue shell in like, what is this like a seven player room? Cause I kind of want to take the shortcut. Oh, I drifted the wrong way. No. Oh, okay, but the red shell didn't come for me. I wonder if it cracked on something because I went the wrong way. Oh, this is scary. Oh, that terrible line might have actually saved me. I'm just holding these items. I, I'm gonna hit a wall at any moment and I'm gonna have to use this to recover. Let's go more to the s- oh, Okay, I tried to do better than last time and I just, <laughs> that happened. No, 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 yes. Didn't come for me. Please, they, they have so many. Okay, none of it came for me. The game's lying. Okay, this one's coming for me. Please don't have more. Yes, two items. I'm gonna throw this, there's another item here. Triple mushrooms. Oh, that actually hit? Okay, okay, I can definitely win this. I just have to play the ending safe. What? Oh no, <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> and that settles it. I should officially main Inward Drift. That doesn't settle it. <laughs> I need to win on Waluigi Stadium. For those of you who were not around for it, spoiler alert, I have lost the winning streak. So I'm totally at peace playing Waluigi Stadium for the first time in my life on Inward Drift. Okay, well, I guess this is the line we're taking, huh? Hey, it wasn't even that bad, I'm in first. Okay, can we do this shortcut here? Come on, this has to be easier on Inward, right? Oh no, bad ending, but I managed to carry some of that boost into after the off-road, so that worked out. Oh, this turn's gonna be rough. Maybe I shouldn't be all the way up here. I didn't get a mushroom boost. That doesn't even make sense. I hate when that happens. And use my coin item to help me gain coins on this track because I don't know how to properly take the lines that actually give you coins on this track. Like, the Waluigi Stadium win streak, I promise you, is, or was, a product of luck, uh, mostly. 
as you guys have seen from that one time that I pulled a super horn on the last set when a blue shell was coming for me. I am not like amazing at Waluigi Stadium. It is, I would say like it's probably, it was my best track at some point, but um, it's not like I'm just a god at Waluigi Stadium. I still make mistakes. There are things I don't know about it, like how to get coins, how to bag properly. And I think I just missed the mushroom boost again, but I'm blaming that on Inward Drift. <laughs> Anytime I make a mistake here, I'm blaming it on Inward Drift. Hey, look at this lead. This reminds me of back when I was still at like, I don't know, under 10,000 VR. And I would, this would happen every single time I played Waluigi Stadium. Okay, but ah, these lines. I'm like bragging while I'm actually just shooting myself off the track. Oh, I missed the trick, but this, no, that was not okay. Oh, I didn't go out of bounds. That was crazy. Can I sort of drift here? Nice. Okay, that kind of saved it. Okay, why am I up here again? At least I got the mushroom boost. Oh, this handling. Okay, this blue shell's not gonna reach me. Let's go! Yeah! Oh, I love this track. <laughs> 